Davies has been gearing up to drop a crazy album that later this month and he's been dropping a whole bunch of singles. So I figured, let me run through how I make solo hip hop beats from scratch. Let's get into it. So the first thing I did was I picked a grand piano from Flex and laid down this chord progression. In order to get that full feeling, I laid down some ninth chords. Along with that, I took the root note and dropped it down an octave so it would be a whole lot fuller. Next, to give it a bit more movement, I strummed each of the notes and then I randomized the velocity and the panning on each note. Even though you can click a button and it will automatically randomize the velocity and the panning and the strumming feature of each of the notes, I still like to nudge each note myself just to give it a little bit more realistic feeling. And for the effects, I simply threw on the EQ where I rolled out the low end, threw on a fruity delay, and lowered the wet knob, and threw on the retro 20 color. After I laid down that initial melody, I copy and pasted it into an electric piano. The only difference was I got rid of the bass notes that I lowered the octave because they ended up clashing with the grand piano. For the effects, I threw on the EQ where I rolled out both the low end and the high end, followed by throwing the vintage chorus. After that, I threw on another grand piano where I just laid down a counter melody. After the keys, I threw on some violins. Originally, it was just a single note, but I decided to take the same note and drop it down the octave just to make it more full because it was getting drowned out by the rest of the beat. Nothing like that. The final part of the whole melody was getting some vocals. Found a good vocal run using the Glaze Contact Player Bank. Now, my favorite part of this whole beat was the drums. I was struggling to find a rhythm and lay down a good pad loop, so I found some hi hat loops and perk loops, and I built around those two. This is the first one. I'm gonna do the second one. I like layering the loops like that because you can use one just for a verse by itself and you can use the other for a hook or you can combine them and make the project a whole lot more full. And here's what all the drums sound like together. the beats and songs that sound like this they sound like they use live instrumentation so i tried to keep it in that same room when it came to picking which kick and which snare to use now, of course i used aoa but that was just my personal preference when it came to finding a bass and this is what the whole beat sound like together <laughs> it for this beat tell me what you liked about it tell me what you didn't like about it comment like subscribe share it with everybody tell a friend and tell a friend and i'll be back with another beat peace